Long story short, I'm Alric and I'm sitting on the set of my very own TV show. You know, it's, it's a childhood dream that started at 12 years old. For some people, this could have been so impossible. And for me, probably too, if I wasn't determined. So, I grew up in Above Rocks in St. Catherine, uh, a farming community and, you know, not a lot of prosperity is there, but you just know that you have to get out and see how you can make life better. So I grew up in, grew up in an extended family. Of course, my father wasn't a part of it. Um, my mother, in most cases, was never ever um, with a job. So you must know how difficult it must have been to send me to school, my sister to school, and my brother. So that was us three of us. And I grew up in a family house. And when I say family house, it, it, it is not big. There were just two bedrooms, two bedrooms. You have uncles, you have my aunties, you have my grandma, and you have my grandpa, you have my mommy, you know, you have my sister, and you have my brother as well. And of course, we never had it fancy, where you have the nice kitchen attached to the house, and the bathroom and stuff like that. So we have what we call a pit toilet. But let me tell you about the pit toilet. The pit toilet was just amazing. For me, it was a space for me to talk to God. Um, as a youngster, it was a space for me. It, it, it was my escape, it was my freedom to say, you must um, get out of this. You must become so much better. You must save your family. So for me, you know, I had it from, er from early that I must lead and I must lead well. So uh, I went to, in my community, there are, there are four schools really, but I went to three. I went to St. Mary's Basic School. <laughs> St. Mary's All Age School and St. Mary's College. And lucky for me, they were all in, this city, uh, all in my area, so I never needed bus fare or anything like that to get out because trust me, if that were the case, I would definitely not go to school many days because we just could not afford it. God bless my grandmother, Gloria, who I, I, I cannot tell you uh, how she provided for the family because remember, my mother is not working many times, but she did her best with odd jobs as best as she could, you know, probably get a bartending work here. She might sell some figurine and stuff like that. And I do admire her for her strength. But one thing that was so sure in my family home was happiness, laughter, and love. I can tell you that I was fueled, fueled with love, fueled with, with joy. And that, that's what, those are some of the elements that keep me um, um, you know, saying up to this day because if anything go wrong, I just laugh about it. And trust me, I know hard life already. So anything should come my way, trust me, I'm going to laugh about it. So I decided that I'm going to make a better life for myself and a better life um, for my siblings and also a better um, set an example for those looking on. So it doesn't matter where you come from, the family that you come from, whether your family has a name or don't have a, um, have a name as Jamaicans um, would say you can make it. So of course I wanted to do television from ever since. I saw people on TV and I could read very well, so I wanted to be on TV too, yeah? So I worked with a, a TV producer in my early years. I met, I met her and I just said, listen, can I work with you to learn this business? And I went in and I started to learn sales and marketing first, yeah? Luckily for me, I could always chat and, you know, I, I can persuade and, and that's good. And these are necessary traits for, for marketing as well. So I did sales and marketing and then I went on to work with the Suzanne Show where I learned the art of producing as well. Um, and I spent three years there and then I now own my own business for over 10 years and my own TV show and I do TV commercials, over 200 TV commercials and all of that. The good thing about that, I never, ever, ever um, abandoned my family. So guess what? So my mother, my sister, and other relatives, life changed for us. So guess what? The two bedroom house, guess what we did? We hit it down and we started from the ground up. And we build a real, real, real family house up in the country right now. So let me tell you, it's not where you're from, but it's how you decide to live your life and the changes that you want to make. You can become so much better. You can make life worth living. 
So guess what? Nobody can tell me anything about because of where I come from and my mother never have it and my father never have it and whatever it is. You have it in you to work hard. You have the ability. You have the talent. And if God give you the talent or talents, you know, I, well, I can't say. I think this is just chatting is my good talent, right? But I'm making good of it. If God bless you that way, work on every single talent so that you can make life better for you. So guess what? If you like floors, maybe you need to be a florist, yeah? If you can sweep good, then probably you can own a sweep a, a, a company where you have um, helpers, you know? Whatever it is that you put your mind to. No, no matter how simply you, you, you might think about it, there's a, there's a space and place for it. So guess what? This is my story, yeah? And I will have more stories to share with you in the future. So look out and keep doing good, yeah? Bless you.